Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Monday, and we have our sales from the weekend to pull. We've kind of taken a couple days off. We haven't done any kind of videos. I think it's been three days. So we're going to go ahead and get right on into what sold for us over this last weekend. Yeah, we were hoping that my voice would be back to normal if we just let it not talk for a couple days, but here we are a couple days later, and it's still not back quite yet. But Still feel fine. We're yeah, all... I feel totally fine. Yeah, it's just <laughs> the lost voice. Yeah. I did want to thank a few people for buying us some coffees over our little break. Um, so Danny bought us five coffees and said thanks for the amazing spreadsheet. I started watching your channel one day and now look forward to every video. The spreadsheet came at the perfect time as I was about to Google how to create an Excel spreadsheet. Special shout out to Chris who awesome. helped me with a question on the spreadsheet. I appreciate your time, effort, and sharing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Danny. That's Thank so you so much. <laughs> thanks for that support. <laughs> Glad the spreadsheet's helping you out too. Yeah, definitely. Um, Jennifer, who also bought that bundle from us the other day with the Matilda Jane and... Um, one of our son's old hoodies. Oh, right. She bought us five coffees because she said she was watching the video. My husband and I caught your video tonight. Felt horrible that you just broke even on those adorable Matilda Jane oh. outfits. So I wrote her and I was like, please, that's so unnecessary. Um, <laughs> that's almost yeah. the goal, right? Yeah, well, not so, with the Matilda well, Jane. Yeah, but. so I just wanted to make sure because uh, Chris edits all the videos and I don't actually watch them back after. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how I sound. So I don't ever want to sound like... <laughs> Like, I don't know. I'm, my voice in general is just kind of like, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> so if I sound like I'm not happy, it's not because I'm not happy. Um, but anyways, when I say I break even, a lot of times it's because I buy my kids expensive clothes knowing I can make most of my money back. And yeah. sometimes they sell with other stuff. And in that case, I'll break even on the whole transaction, which is honestly great versus yeah. losing maybe 10, 15 bucks on one item. So... And I explained that, and she said, yes, she understood. <laughs> so I just felt horrible that she sent us coffees. But, Jennifer, thank you so much for that support. Yeah, Jennifer, thank um, you so much. She also said she wanted to thank us for the spreadsheet and the info we share. So Awesome. Thank you, Jennifer. We really do appreciate it. <laughs> yes. And then uh, Debbie bought us, well, she bought us three coffees and then came back the next day and bought us another coffee. Debbie, oh. that is so, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, she said, love your videos. Re give Reese a head rub. Love you both. Um, where is Reese? He, he, he ran over there. Reese. As soon as we started to get ready, he Reese, went. Come here. <laughs> come here, boy. Come Where's here. Where's your bed? Come here. Let's he... look outside. <laughs> also, Debbie, um, she sent some to our PO box and I was going to go this weekend and then again, I just in it yet so i'm going to try my very hardest to get there today <laughs> yeah or at the very latest tomorrow um our our p.o box is, is off in a box. different direction from yeah. where we ever go from so anything at all yeah. <laughs> and it's like a 30 minute drive which is annoying because of where it is but yeah i'm definitely gonna go i need to go anyways i'm sure there's a bunch of junk mail clogging up our whole thing <laughs> so thank you debbie yeah debbie thank you so much for that support What's with you? Let's see box. So. You okay? He's sneezing. Oh, wow. <laughs> you okay? You got something in your nose? All right, so let's start pulling some sales. I'm gonna start over on the shoe shelf here. Where's your ball? He's still trying to sneeze <laughs> it out. <laughs> okay. Sold some men's bogs. These I picked up retail arbitrage for $15. And this is, well, I got two pairs. This is the first to sell. They sold for $15. No, they sold for $52. Oh. <laughs> which I bought them for $15. So those ones sold on Mercari. So I will find a box for them in our closet. Brown box. All right, BJ. So a pair of vintage Levi's. These caught my attention mostly because of that old looking tag on them. You see that? Yeah, dry goods. Yeah, I never heard of that and they didn't have the normal like leather patch so I had to look them up. They also look like a wide baggy style and I could tell by the tag that they were, I forgot, I think they were made in 1999. So. Anyways. Vintage Levi's are always good, especially with the baggy style and whatnot. So I grabbed them for $7.99 and sold them for $35 plus ship. 
Nice. And that was fairly quickly, I think in a week or so. Levi's from the late 1900s. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry to make everyone out there feel really old. <laughs> All right, another shoe shelf sale. Well, good, because we're running out of space, so if we can keep stuff moving on the shelf, especially. That's great. Um, these Crocs, I I did average my cost of goods this day, so it sounds like a lot. I paid twelve eighty. I think one of the shoes I bought this day was like twenty bucks, so these are probably less than ten. But anyways, twelve eighty. Sold them for thirty four ninety five plus ship. They sold the first day, honestly, like the first hour they were listed on eBay. Okay. So that was good. Those are just just under a pound. And if I double bag, they'll go over a pound. So I'm just going to put them in here okay. by themselves. And it's one of the rare occasions yeah. where we won't, where <laughs> so we won't double bag. That they don't <laughs> get messed up because again, first class does not come right. with insurance or anything either. So yeah, and we're not buying additional. You can buy insurance on yeah. first class packages if you want, but in our experience, we just don't have. Yeah. Any damage enough to I mean, like, really when get I it. get stuff a lot, the outer polymiller is often damaged, but rarely the stuff inside. So yeah. I hope it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's not, you know, we'll just eat the cost. Yeah. We'll refund the money and we'll move on because it doesn't happen enough to make it a real issue. Yeah. It'll stink, you know, <laughs> like it'll, we'll be like, man, we should have got it, but. Yeah. More like the numbers don't lie. For, yeah. Uh, for the buyer if yeah. something happened. All right, this was probably the best sale of the weekend. It's a pair of Arcteryx pants. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but <laughs> anyways, I almost never found this brand, and then in the last week or so, I found it like three times. Yeah. Well, one time we picked it up on a porch pickup, but still. You still found it. Facebook knows I'm looking for it, so <laughs> they keep showing it to me. Although I didn't buy these on Facebook. Um, these ones I bought at a thrift for $8.99. Sold them for $94.50. Wow. 56 cents plus shipping. Wow. Those are just a pair of pants. <laughs> Huge sale. Yeah, it's crazy. What? Still. Just a poly on those. I almost feel like quadruple bagging them. <laughs> <laughs> these ones I'm taking my chances while doing first class, even though. That's a lot of money in yeah. case something happens, but again, it's very rare that something happens. All right. All right, this is a viewer sale going out to Ashley. It is, I think it's Cupshe. I'm not sure how you say the this brand? brand. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a bathing suit. I got it retail arbitrage five dollars eighty three cents, and Ashley bought it for twenty with discount shipping on Poshmark. So. All right. Thank you so much, Ashley. And, and I'll make sure to put the brand up there because Poshmark doesn't show any oh, okay. information, but I'll put that up on the screen <laughs> so that yeah you can see if Kathy's saying it right. Hi. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever sold it before. Probably just do a regional A on that because I can't find a square box. I don't know if we have any of those. All right, DH. Some Asics Wrestling Shoes. I have $9.99 and two. Sold these for $27 with discount shipping. Um, that was on Poshmark. The original B. What that you doing, Reese guy? <laughs> Sorry. Where are you going? He just keeps coming up and down. There's nothing down there. There's not even food to sneak into. Oh, He's like, fine. Why don't you come lay down, Bubba? Just some snacks. You got tickles in your nose? <laughs> Here, come on, lay down. So, wrestling shoes are still doing well. That was about a double up on my money, so nothing crazy. Um, but I did send out 30% offers on Posh on Sunday, so that was someone who accepted. Hey, W. This was one of my son's old hoodies. It's the brand Mini Rodini, so if you ever see that, it's a good one to look out for. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it. Both my kids have worn this. Um, but I sold it for $44.10, free ship on Kitizen, and, and shipping was $5.15, so okay. making back 30 something bucks, I probably paid less than that, honestly, to begin with. Pair 
panda mailer. Okay, CQ. This is the brand Joseph Sabel. I got these at the bin. I have $2.39 into them. Sold them for $25 plus shipping on eBay. As you can tell by Kathy's staticky hair, we have not got a humidifier yet or, or air purifier or anything like that. I mean, are we putting one all over the whole house? We might get one for each room. Uh, it, I, it's kind of crazy, yeah. Yeah. So those fit nicely in a pan of fly rate. All right, A-N. Looks like Reese finally calmed down. Don't bother him, he'll get up. Alright, I sold the Shape Ups for $42.96 plus shipping and I had $14.99 into those. The men's ones seemed to sell better for me, so I was okay paying up a little bit. Those don't look like SketchUps. They, they almost don't. look like Nikes. <laughs> Are you saying they're nice? Well, I'm just like the, nice. uh, that. Those little <laughs> blacks, like, I thought those were the Nike swoosh. <laughs> no. Just. Uh, they do actually have some yellowing. I saw a cool TikTok last night of somebody fixing that, so. Using like hydrogen peroxide yeah, or something. Although yeah, although I would never. <laughs> Even though now I know that I could do it, I probably would never would. <laughs> right. Just cause to me, I'd rather just buy and sell stuff that I don't need to do anything to. Yeah. Um, That was gonna just ship out in a shoe box. Okay, this is the bundle our kid is in. This is the brand Junior Cooper, and this is Rock Your Kids, or Rock Your Baby. They are the same thing, just one is like the baby line and one is the kids, I don't remember which one this was. But this bundle sold for $47.70 free ship, shipping was $5.15, and these were both my kids. I'm probably losing a few bucks, but they got to wear some cute stuff. Yeah. Alright. Jungle mailer. Okay. BD, another kid is in sale. Okay, these are Ryland Crew. Again, my son's pants. Sold for $31.50 free ship. Um, don't remember what I paid for them, but happy to get money back. Do another jungle mailer. Okay, be cute. Okay, these are footprints by Birkenstock. Just, um, classic black loafer. Sold them for $42.96 plus ship. I had $11.30 into those. in a padded flat rate. Right? I think. Yeah. Okay, box H. Here. <laughs> um, this is an LLB in men's like really thick flannel. So I thought I could get closer to 30, but I didn't realize when I bought it. I think the button pocket flap, like the buttons right here are missing. Mm. on the pocket flaps, so I sent an offer of 20 plus ship and someone accepted, so <laughs> I paid $6.99 for it, so still making about a $10 profit. So, that's still pretty good. Okay. Box A. I... Cute little Tommy Bahama baby swimsuit. I have 350 and two. Sold it for 17 with discount shipping on Posh. So even now that's like a nine or so dollar profit. Yeah. I mean, it's just so easy. Like why not? <laughs> Pay 350, make nine something. 
I don't know. I would do that all day, every day. <laughs> yeah? So. You said that was retail arbitrage? Yeah, yeah that was. I, didn't, I don't think I said it, but it was. Mm. All right. Yeah, just like at the end of every season, like last year I got all those bobs, like right after the season. So they won't sell right away like those swimsuits I got last, you know, probably in the fall. Mm -hmm. After the last summer, and now they're gonna start selling off for spring and summer. So you gotta hold them a little, but yeah, they're tiny. Make some decent money. <laughs> At least those ones were tiny. Yeah, well, I'm just mean in general. Just yeah. If you buy off-season stuff at clearance, you can sell it for a good yeah. profit. You I think it's a great. Hold it for several months. I think it's a great business yeah. model. <laughs> buy clearance off-season. Sell it on season. Yeah. So, so my last Magnolia pot. I have three fifty into it. Sold it on Posh for twenty. All right. Um, Another shoe box for that one, then, huh? Yeah. Well. That's or regional bee. But the regional bees. Um, are they tall enough? Let's check. Yeah. CJ These are the brand uh, new um, These I bought for $10.99 They did take a little bit to sell But they're a size women's 5 I believe So I knew that they would But they sold for my full list price Which was $50 So very happy with that Yeah. Those I think are medium fabric All right, box Y, Mountain Hardware. Right. These, I bought for $4.99, sold them on Posh for $24 with discount shipping. Do a tie back for those. Okay, eight more. little girl Oshkosh overalls got these at the bin so I have a dollar one into them and they sold for 14 with discount shipping so again about like a nine dollar profit I think yeah take it all right this is a viewer sale bundle so a and oh right here <laughs> okay this is going out to Cameron um, she bought this bundle and kit is in for $44.15 free shipping and it cost me $5.15 to ship out so yeah I uh, got some airy bike shorts and then a little kicky pants outfit Nice. And I had five into these and four fifty into these. This one I got on our Nebraska trip last year, I remember? Oh yeah. So excited too. <laughs> I can't believe it's spring break again. Like, I know. Crazy. I know we keep saying we want to go somewhere. We haven't planned a single part of that <laughs> yet, but last year we literally threw that Nebraska trip together in like a couple nights before we left. Yeah. So Which hey, you know, when you work for yourself, yeah, if you, you can, can swing it. it, you can do it. Yeah. But it, it doesn't make it less stressful. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll just ship those in a mailer. Cameron, thank you so much for that support. Thanks, yeah, we appreciate it. All right, BQ. Back over here. All right, these weren't a huge profit, but again, I think eight or nine bucks. Uh, these are little baby Nike shoes. I picked them up at Once Upon a Child last week. I have $9.60 into them. They raised the price of Nikes from 10 to 12, but I had 20% off, so $9.60. And they sold on Mercari in just like a day for $22 plus shipping. So I'll still, I'm still happy with that. Yeah. Um, I still would have picked them up. They sold fast, they always sell fast. So mm -hmm. it's worth it to me. Originally, I think I bought those thinking my son would wear them, but then I was like, how often does he really wear blue sneakers? He usually wears his black sneakers. <laughs> Anyways, I would have bought them regardless. 
All right, box of BK. Right behind me. This was a full price Poshmark sale. Tommy Hilfiger denim shorts. Paid $6.99 for these, sold them for $39. Okay. It took a while, but now it's a nice little sale. Yeah. Those, I think, we'll put in a little A flat. It's always interesting to me when something's been for sale for a long time and it goes full Random price. Sales, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, DH. Not going to complain about that, you know? <laughs> a lot of times it's still a guest buyer, but I don't yeah. think that was. Yeah, the guest buyer would kind of make a little more sense. Yeah. Some of you just randomly Finding it on eBay happens of yeah. They don't, they don't, it on eBay on Google. They don't realize posh, you can yeah. the make, an offer. make offers and stuff, yeah. All or at right. least that that's a common thing, right? Yeah. Uh, this is a Reebok golf polo, it's just basic purple polo. The reason I bought it is because it's men's 5X. I actually bought five of them, I think. But I'm having to return two because I found holes after I got them home. Mm -hmm. The other two I needed to wash. So this was the only one I got listed so far, but it sold in one day for $21.46 plus ship. Okay. I paid $4.79 for it, so. Not uh, bad. You know, that size stuff just does well. Yeah. Always just does really, really well and really, really fast. CD. This took a while to sell. Oh, I would definitely pick them up again. It's La Sportiva shoe. Mm -hmm. These were men's, I think, seven, so not the most common size. Yeah, a little smaller. If they were probably nine to 12 or so, they probably would have sold, I'd say, in less than 30 days. Mm -hmm. But they sold for $44, and I only paid $9.99 for them, so definitely worth the wait. And those should go in a medium flat behind my sleeve. Okay. Another viewer sale going out to Trisha. So BN and BZ. <laughs> I was looking for the Nike, which is amazing. <laughs> but you have this. <laughs> All right, so these are some boys' Nike swim trunks. These I have a 239 and two, and this is the boys' kicky pants <laughs> pajama set. This is my son's, but I bought it off Kittas in a while back for $11.20. So Trisha bought it from us for $36.80 free ship for the bundle. And it's gonna ship out for five fifteen. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much, Trisha. Trisha. Thank you so much for that support. Let's do a cute doggy mailer. <laughs> we do appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, and last but not least, box B. This is a men's cool pullover. K U H L. Yep. I paid $7.99 for it, sold it on Posh for $54 with discount shipping in just a few days. After someone on Facebook message saying, I'll give you 30, <laughs> as if I, he was doing me a service or something by <laughs> offering me $19 less than my ex. <laughs> Anyways, I ignored that guy and it sold the next day for basically my list price minus the Posh or VA offer. Yeah. I think this will fit. Yeah. All righty. All right. So quite a few sales to pack up. So we're going to go ahead and get them all packed up. Reese. He wants a little snack. He just wants a little snack. A little <laughs> tummy rub. He's a good boy. All right. You, you can stay there and we'll have a snack <laughs> after. We'll be right back. He's a good boy. All right, guys. Got everything all packed up ready to go ready for a thumbnail pick yeah, and then ready to go 217 a little bit earlier than our usual but we want it to be <laughs> our goal is to get shipping done more it was in the valentine's so we had a nice breakfast yeah we had valentine's breakfast together <laughs> so and then kathy went and little. sourced a little bit and yeah found some good stuff 
some decent stuff. I went to Play-Doh, so it's kind of pricey, but yeah. good that I should at least double, and it's easy to list stuff, so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But we are going to close it out here. I'm going to get this video edited and uploaded today. It is Monday, Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day, guys. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We had uh, Kathy's been doing really good on her listings. She's got 15 every single day, at least 15. Yeah. In addition to some, some these pink numbers are personal kids n items that she's listed. So I already have another... I'm gonna say like 30 things photographed. So during live listing tonight, I'll put up 15 for tomorrow, like get them scheduled for yeah. tomorrow and maybe even for the next day. So then, well, right now, since I have an hour till I have to pick up my kids, I'm gonna photograph these clothes. Oh, even yeah. though they probably won't get listed for a few days since we're doing 15 a day. Yeah. Um, Add them to the bank. Yeah. yeah. So cool. we're doing good. Kathy mentioned live listing. We do go and hang out with Joey and Drew over on, I think it's on Joey's channel, right? Yeah. Monday night listing, live listing over there. Joey and Bada Joey Bada Bing 22. We'll go ahead and put his thing down here so you guys can go check it out. We're there in the chat. We hang out. It's a great time. It's a great motivational time to get your stuff listed if that's something that could help you out. And then we also have a live show Thursday nights. 8 o'clock Colorado or Mountain Time. And yeah, we would love to see you guys there as well. But that's going to do it for today. We are going to get the stuff off and get working on uh, some other stuff here. And uh, guys, thank you so much for the support today. We do appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.